Welcome once again as we talk Georgia Tech women's basketball with head coach Michelle Joseph. Tail end of the month of July, heading into August here on the Flats. You've been out busy on the road with recruiting. This is that time of year, a lot of travel for you, for your assistants like the TMSer and Gene Hill. A chance for all of you to do something you're very good at. Get out there and evaluate talent and determine that next generation of Tech player. Yeah, it's been a really hectic summer, but it's been exciting. I mean, the fact that um, early on we have two verbal commitments already. I'm, I'm not allowed to say who they are, but um, we have two verbal commitments from two very good players. And, you know, we, we only have uh, the opportunity to sign three players this year. So, um, really, we've got one scholarship left. And, you know, it's, it, it's a credit to Gene and Satya and the job they've done. Uh, Gene's just, his transition's been seamless. He's stepped in and just done a tremendous job being our recruiting coordinator. And having Satya Messer, you know, just the, the consistency and the loyalty and the enthusiasm she brings to her job every day. She's just a total asset to Georgia Tech. And Terry Morin has done a great job as well, helping us uh, as far as traveling. We've been able to split it up between the four of us. Okay. And it's really made my job a lot easier. And, and they do just do such a tremendous job. When you're out there looking at players, let's kind of think about a couple of players you recently recruited very well nationally recognized. And we saw how good they were last year as freshmen. And Alex Montgomery and Ayesha Hemingway. The first time you see someone like that, it's got to be exciting. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I saw each one of them play, and, and yeah, it was very exciting. And the fact that the summer that Alex was being recruited, I didn't miss a game she played. I followed her all the way from, from uh, Portland, Oregon to New York City and, and watched every single game she played all summer, which was over 50 games. And uh, it was just a tremendous experience because not only did I get to learn her game and how she responded in certain situations, it just it made that transition from player or her being my player and me being her coach that much easier because I was so in tune with her game and I'll never, for, I'll never forget thinking, you know, the, her best shot is that shot in the corner, a three-point shot in the corner, and when she hit that shot against Miami this year to win us the game at home, I was like, oh, I knew that was in because I saw her make that shot so many times during the recruiting process. Fans, so looking on the internet for recruiting information, they see names. Sharina Taylor from Detroit, Tamika Willis, Jasmine Wayne from here in the Atlanta area, Shayla Bivens from down in Jacksonville, they're all on the radar right now. Yeah, the only thing I can say is that I can confirm the recruitment of these student athletes and we're really excited about the players that are, and their interest in Georgia Tech. But um, other than that, I can't, I can't say much about them, but really excited about this, this year's recruiting class and the opportunity uh, that's out there for us. Describe the type of student athlete that you're looking at, the type of player who will excel in the classroom and on the court here at Georgia Tech. Well, the number one factor when I go out there and, and get to know these kids and, and look at them on the court and, and their, look at their academic transcripts is I'm looking for somebody that's competitive. That's number one. If they're not competitive, they're not going to compete in the classroom. They're not going to compete on the court at the level we want to compete at. So um, that's number one. And then after that, obviously, we, we have to be selective as far as this type of student that we bring into Georgia Tech. And, and that, that goes along with anybody that's competitive is going to compete in the classroom. So again, that's that's the most important thing to me and and when we recruit kids to Georgia Tech we promise them nothing you know and those are the kind of players I want the ones that will come in and work for anything they're going to get I just tell them the only thing I promise you is the opportunity for a great degree um, everything you earn between the lines you're going to have to earn every day at practice because I'm a practice coach and you know we don't earn playing time during games you earn playing time during practice and the players that embrace that idea and want to be a part of that and want to come here and work hard and earn that those are the type of kids I want in this program players striving to be their best. That's what you did back in your days at <laughs> Purdue. Fans are watching the Olympic Games in the month of August, seeing what's going on in Beijing with the national team. Think back to your days when you represented the USA, wore the red, white, and blue. Things that stand out in your memory, the players you played with, the places you went to games you won. Uh, it's, it's, playing USA basketball is probably the greatest experience I had as a student athlete. Um, it was, I had an opportunity to travel to Spain, to Taiwan, to Italy, all over the, the country and the world uh, with USA Basketball. Every summer in college I played for a USA Basketball team, but probably the greatest experience I had was in 92, I tried out for the Olympic team and we were the second team selected behind the Olympic team and it was in Lisa Leslie, who's now a current Olympian, was on that team. Dawn Staley, who went on to be an Olympian, was on that team and we went to Taiwan and, and played in the, in the Jones Cup and won a gold medal and it was probably the greatest experience uh, you can possibly have in, in athletics is stand on that podium and knowing that your team accomplished the highest high in representing your country and 
and, it, and every time the Olympics comes on, I think about those times and those memories that we had and playing for the World Championships and to, to see Lisa Leslie still out there playing. I looked at her birth date the other day on the roster and I was like, wow, she's only two years younger than me and um, that she's still playing. And, and that's, she's just obviously one of the greatest players that ever played our game. And the fact that I had the chance to play on three teams with her um, on USA Basketball, you know, it just it was a highlight of my career, no doubt. Shifting gears a little bit, your current edition of the Jackets as they get ready for the 2008-2009 season. I see players around campus. I know they're working hard right now getting ready for the season. Well, you know, it's, it's really interesting. Since the season ended last year, they haven't taken a break, really. Um, they probably had a total of three weeks off. Um, and they, it really says a lot about their character and the fact that it's easy to work hard when your coaches are standing over you, pushing you, but it's hard to work, it's hard to work like they're working when your coaches aren't around, the fans aren't in the stands. You know, everything they do is just based on their self-motivation to be the best they can be. And if their work ethic is any indication of the success that we're going to experience this year, then we're in really good shape because um, I've just been really impressed with their leadership, uh, their desire, their work ethic, and the fact that the freshmen have come in and just joined right in and we haven't missed a beat, um, it has just been tremendous. And the, the incoming freshman class, you know, there's five of them, and they've really, they've really brought a lot of enthusiasm, a great work ethic with them, and they've added a lot of size to our roster. So I'm really excited. We're going to be young. We've lost 70% of our scoring and rebounding. We have 10 freshmen and sophomores, but I tell our team all the time, I think we're going to be better this year than we were last year. And that's saying a lot because we had a really good team last year. The schedule has yet to come out. We're still waiting to see how things should sort out for ACC games. But we know a few key dates, especially involving non-conference opponents. November 14th, of course, is the date that folks will want to remember because that's opening night. And then some of the opponents as we get into November, December, January, Georgia, right. Michigan State, Tulane, a trip to the Bahamas. The home schedule, very attractive for the fans who are thinking about their season tickets. No doubt. I mean, I really feel like we've done a great job of, of scheduling uh, some really top non-conference opponents. Um, the fact that we have Georgia in here December the 5th at 7 o'clock is a major, uh, obviously, game on our schedule, something that we're all the players and the staff and hopefully our fans are excited about that opportunity and hopefully everyone will come out and be bold, wear gold and support Georgia Tech and our, your Yellow Jackets because two years ago when they were in here we had more red in the stands than we did gold. So that's our goal is to make sure that we get as, you know, I'm asking all our season ticket holders to bring five people and join in in our in our crusade to have the arena full of gold jerseys when our team runs out on December the 5th. But we also have Michigan State here on December the 3rd in a Big Ten ACC Challenge, which is going to be, uh, they, they feature a player that's 6'9", and you know that's going to be a great opportunity for our fans to, to see Big Ten basketball and, and a team that's been very competitive over the last couple of years. And you know you throw in the fact that we will have Maryland and North Carolina here again this year. Um, that's, it's just a, we have a tremendous home schedule. And, and I just encourage everyone to come out and, and get your season tickets because for a limited time right now they're, they're on sale and you can get a season ticket for, um, for $30 and you know it's just it, it's a great, it's a bargain, it's the greatest bargain in town. Uh, $30 for a season ticket to get see, to see some of the best college women's basketball in the country and uh, I just encourage everyone to go online and buy those season tickets and let's do this together, let's, let's get this program to the next level and that's Sweet 16 challenging for an ACC championship and beyond. I want to encourage fans, if they have any questions, feel comfortable in contacting the Georgia Tech Women's Basketball Office. Coach Joseph, thanks for joining us once again. We'll talk to you again in August right here at RamblinRec.com.